Mel C. And I'm Debbie. And we're Two Sisters Southern Cooking. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Uh, we know that this is going to air after Easter because we're filming it on Easter. Yes. Um, so we are making a big, delicious dinner. Yeah, we are. So um, pulling out all the stops. We have a smoked ham that we're not filming that that I purchased from someone who smoked it for us. Right. Um, and we're having Mississippi pot roast, which is what we're filming right now. Mom doesn't eat ham, so she prefers beef it, or actually chicken and fish, but she will eat the Mississippi pot roast. Yes. Yeah, so, so we figured we would do that for her. I know that I'm going to have a little bit of it myself because I love it. I love it. It's so good. And it's going to take um, on high about six to seven hours in your crock pot. So make sure you put it on early in the day. And by the time you get home from work, then it's ready to serve for dinner. And you can also put these in like hoagie rolls too. Like put all that au jus that's in it. Oh, so good. Make you a sandwich. Oh, make you a po bo sandwich. <laughs> yeah. This recipe actually came from one of my coworkers when I worked in Warner Robbins at the ER. And uh, his name is Danny Farr. He's now a nurse practitioner. Danny Farr, <laughs> I'm giving a shout out to you. And this recipe came from him and he said, Deb, you gotta try this. And boy, we tried we it. We fell in love. Oh gosh, it's so good. Um, I'm gonna go get a measuring cup to put the peppertini juice in. Okay. And if you wanna start. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and put our, our three pound um, chuck roast in here. LC had rinsed it off just to rinse off any blood or juices. The next thing we use, we use the ranch seasoning. Now you can use the generic, you can use the Hidden Valley, it doesn't matter. Whichever one you want. And we use a whole packet. So we sprinkle it on the top of it. I'm actually gonna flip it over. Because you should place your roast skin side down just to protect it from burning. And the au jus, we use the McCormick's, but you can use whichever brand you want, but it's one packet of them. It's so simple, guys, and the smell. We're gonna have the smell in this house and I'm gonna wanna eat it. This is so good. All right, and then after that, you're going to put in a quarter cup of butter. We use salted butter, always. I know you, some people are out there saying you gotta use unsalted. We love salted butter. Okay, we're from the South. Everything's salted. All right, and Elsie's going to uh, put in between six or more of the pepperoncinis. Um, the pepperoncinis will give it a little bit of a kick, so if you don't like it too spicy, don't put as many in, but we like the taste. I, it just gives you a full body flavor. My mouth is salivating right now because I'm just thinking about it, and these pepperoncinis are so pungent. They smell so good. So what we do is put the whole ones. You can do the sliced ones if you want to, but um, we, we use the whole. And one more, dear sister. And then we're gonna put in a quarter cup of the pepperoncini juice. And you can get all of this from your grocer. It's not any rocket science about where to get it from or anything. And just just get it from your, your grocer. Okay. All right, and we're gonna pour this over top and then we're gonna pop it in our crock pot on high for six to seven hours. I'm actually gonna program it for seven just to make sure we are totally tender. At the six hour mark, we will check it and make sure that it's not getting overcooked. Other than that, just follow along because it's gonna be good, y'all. Hey, y'all, I am ready to taste our Mississippi pot roast. Oh, I, it looks good. I cannot wait. Oh my gosh. It's been smelling so good in here for hours now. Yes, it has. Look how tender this that is. That is a tender roast. Look at that. That is very tender. And I got me a pepper too. Ooh, yes. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Melt in your mouth, good. Oh my gosh. Mm -mm -mm. It's hot. Yes. But it's good. Oh my gosh, yeah, because it just finished cooking, so. Oh gosh. 
Mm. So I should have saved you a piece of that. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Happy. I'm Elsie and I'm Debbie and we're, we're two sisters, sisters Southern cooking. cooking please like share and subscribe thank you Bye.